Okay, so Joey Jordison of Slipknot has also died. And um, the my, my brother used to build stages uh, and um, set up lighting and all that kind of thing at the Globe in Stockholm, which is the stadium there where all the major bands play when they come through. And he worked there for many years. And he saw many, many bands. He played Elton John's Piano, Diana, and he, um, uh, what else, played Oasis's guitars. And he, uh, you know, had a lot of fun experiences like that, met all the bands and all of that. Now, I, I asked him one time, which is the best band, you know, who is it? Prince, Metallica, who is the best band that you have ever uh, seen, you know, and whatever. And he said, Slipknot. And this was a surprising answer to me because I didn't, I, I don't really know Slipknot's music or the lineup of the band or or any of this stuff. Slipknot was just one of those bands that I never grasped. It isn't to say they're not good. I, I just, I look, I might listen to some tonight. I've never really even heard it still, you know. Uh, and so my brother, were, he said Slipknot were easily, they put on the best show, had the best sound, had the most relaxed attitude. Uh, and he he had <laughs> he had been standing next to the drummer somehow throughout the concert. And he said this guy hit every single drum with a drumstick on his nose. He said the entire show, every snare hit, it, just all of it, all with the nose. And he said, I've never seen anything like it. And he goes, he'd never missed a beat. Uh, and he said, yeah. So it wasn't just <laughs> that this guy, Joey Jordison, was hitting it with the the the, uh, the drums with his nose. It was just everything about the show that impressed my brother. But it had impacted him because he said he did the entire show this way. And it was flawless drum performance. Um, so, yeah, um, R.O.P., uh, Slipknot fans, are, I'm sure, are very upset. They're a very popular band. Uh, a lot of people really feel connected to this band. And, um, you know, if I go on what my brother says, there's good reason why. He said that, oh, if you want to know, he said he's, there were two bands that he thought were absolutely incredible, Slipknot, and, uh, like, he worked for everybody over there. You, you name them, he worked with them. But uh, while he was in Stockholm, he also worked for Europe, the Final Countdown uh, band. And he said that they were easily the most relaxed uh, band he ever met backstage and were exceptional as well. So, yeah, Slipknot and uh, Europe, in my brother's opinion, are the two uh, greatest uh, bands um, that ever came through the globe. And, yeah, I'm talking, he worked with everyone. I mean, uh, Foo Fighters, Metallica, Prince, Kiss, oh, gosh, everybody that played there, he 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 worked with them, and uh, yeah, Slipknot and uh, uh, Europe. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, uh, but uh, I'm pretty cut about Billy G uh, not Billy Gibbons. What I'm talking about ZZ Top. I, I can't even think straight. I can't even get the names right. Sorry, I'm I'm actually pretty upset about that one. So uh, yeah, uh, God bless all the, the Slipknot fans and the ZZ Top fans.